tutafanya kila juhudi hiyo asilimia 30 imebaki ndio watu ya laikipi ya waweze kulala usingizi wa muke ya asubuhi kama wakenya wengine bila mlio ya risasi bila wizi ya ngombe bila ya mtu yote kushutishwa hiyo 30% tutashughulikia na mimi ningetaka county commissioner na watu yako you must work around the clock and these chiefs must help you because they know where the problems are i know we have an an upsurge from the neighboring tiati from baringo east ambao wanakuja kusumbua sisi hapa katika like kipya kaa chini bwana county commissioner na mimi ningetaka tuseme ya kwamba ile mpango tumefanya katika north rift ya kuweka askari ya jeshi na wale ya polisi au maaramia watu wanatusumbua walikuwa nafikiria ni mchezo kwa sababu hapo mbeleni askari walikuwa anamwagwa kuna kuwa na operation mwezi tatu mwezi ile wanaondoka wale bandits wanarudi ningetaka niseme nikiwa hapa like pia hao wanajeshi tumemwaga katika area hizo hao polisi watakaa hapo mwaka huu wa 2023 watakuwa huko 2024 watakuwa huko 2025 watakuwa huko 2026 wataishi huko milele mpaka hii maneno ishi na tuna haraka ya kupeleka hao anywhere they stay there hakuna pahali wataenda sasa wewe kama ulikuwa kazi yako ni kutafuta pesa wizi ya ngombe utafuta kibarua kingine ya kufanya kama mlikuwa mnafikiria hiyo askari wataondoka they are going nowhere they will stay and tunasema the government to deal with insecurity in Laikipia and in North Rift conclusively and decisively once and for all is a government led by President William Samoe Ruto hiyo ndio serikali tamaliza hiyo maneno and we are determined our CS for interior Kithure Kendiki has camped in that region for six months and he'll continue camping there until we restore law and order and we bring to an end insecurity so that Kenyans can enjoy their constitutional right of life and safety for their property governor mumeomba tuongeze nyinyi national police eh, npr ndio sasa lazima tukae utuambie how many you are willing to saidia unajua tutasaidiana tulikubaliana gavana sisi tuko na askari na buduki na wiko na pesa si ni mpango tuelewane Simupigie kama na makofi. Yeah. So governor you come you tell us how many will give you the number you want. Yeah? Asika watu si iko. Buduki iko na risasi iko. Si wewe iko na pesa? Iko shida gani? Kuna shida? So waja governor akuje huyu wakaora ni mtu wetu. Yeah? Na watu ya Laikipia ni mpogeze nyinyi kuchagua huyu jamaa. Mujipigie makofi. Pale <laughs> mimi mlikuwa mmepotea mume, mkachagua mtu mwingine ya kusubua watu. Sasa hii anatembea na sufuria kwa kichwa ni alikuwa gavana. Sikulikuwa mmeanguka hadi alikimbia. Lakini kwetu tunasema kuteleza sio nini. Na kufanya makosa sio mbaya. Baya ni nini? Kaa chini gavana. You know sometime mkienda uchaguzi. This governor called Joshua Irungu. Alifanyia nyinyi kazi mingi lakini kwa sababu ni mpole na apii kelele mkaona atimtafuta mtu ya kupiga kelele na maringo na madoido ati jina kubwa ya familia kubwa nini mkakuja mkaweka mkienda kutafuta huyu mlikuwa mnalia na jicho moja mmehugua ingine sasa nyinyi mkae na huyu gavana na huyu gavana anatusaidia sana kwa sababu he works together with the national government do what we are like if you are fighting and that is why we are supporting him and governor will work with you look for resources to give uh, the allowances to the NPRs will give you the NPRs to help you and the people of Laikipia to secure this county so that people can go about their lives kwa hivyo nakushukuru sana pia nashukuru nyinyi kwa kumrudisha huyu senator huyu ya Jacobo na Ibrahimu na wale wengine huyu <laughs> sasa yule walikuwa na shindana na yeye ndio wanatumiwa na Raila kwenda kuchoma vitu huko Kitengela. Hiyo vijana walienda kuchoma Kitengela ni wa ile kikundi ya hiyo mtu mlikuwa mnaambiwa mchagua hapa senator. 
Ndiyo amelipwa pesa na Raila kutafuta vijana ya hiyo kikundi haramu kwenda kuchoma mali ya watu huko Mlolongo huko Mombasa Road ati ni kiongozi ati wa kikuyu sasa kwani watu wanadharau hiyo kikuyu kiasi gani huyu anaweza kuwa kiongozi wa kikuyu na mlaletewa hapa laiki pia tumemchague sasa amekuwa ndio muti ya kukodishwa na watu ya azimio those boys who are looting things on Mombasa Road belong to that kebino gang we are going to hunt them down kazi ka chini center and let me say now pali imefika sasa ni sawa it's okay sasa wacha sasa tuone vile itakuwa sisi ni tunapenda demokrasia we respect human rights we respect the constitution but hakuna serikali yote responsible itakubali watu kufanya ile maneno yona jana Nairobi wewe unasema tunafanya maandamano kuuliza haki yako. Hii mambo ya kuharibu mali ya watu sasa hiyo ni haki gani wewe unatafuta? What right are you fighting for? Destroying life. Watu wamekufa watu saba jana. Juzi wamekufa watu sita. Atuona ajiita kiongozi. And that is why we told Uhuru Kenyatta on his face as we chagua hiyo mtu. Hiyo ni mtu tunamjua. That is a lot of violence and impunity in the Republic of Kenya. And I personally told Uhuru Kenyatta, my friend, and I was his personal assistant. Nika muambia hii mtu za tuletea hatuwezi chagua. This is a violent man. Hii ni mtu ya kuchafua inchi. Ni mtu ya kufanya mauaji. Alianza hii maneno 1982 akibidua Rais Moi. Haka uwa watu. 1997 haka uwa watu. 2007 haka fanya watu wa uwawe. Alavu Uhuru walikuwa na kuambia tutumuchagua. Tuka kuambia kwende tukakataa uhuru na mti yake sasa wameshikana mauaji imeanza last monday they killed six people jana watu saba sasa nimeona anasema atatakuwa monday chuzi na wednesday wanataka kuua watu gapi kila siku bi watosheke hii damu ya wakenya wanataka ni ya nini how much blood must you shed raila odinga for you to be satisfied the people of kenya rejected you five times wame kukataa wa Kenya you are now eight years what are you fighting for ni nini unafanya ati unapanga kila siku watu na wawa kila siku watu na wawa mali ya watu inaharibiwa wewe hakuna kazi unafanya watu yako hakuna kazi wanafanya umechukua vijana wetu wa hiyo kilimo na gani na ongozwa na hiyo mtu hapa la Ethiopia unawatumia na walipa pesa kidogo and we are asking we are asking mimi ni mwambie huru kenyata I told President Uhuru Kenyatta this man ulatuletea huyu is a problem of this country. And this country shida yake itaisha tukimaliza na hiyo mtu. So watu wamekufa watu saba jana, mande walikufa. Sasa hao wako na mabibi, wako na watoto. What will they appear? Sasa hao watoto wamewachwa yatima, watasema ni nini? What is it? So mimi nataka kupongeza watu wa Ethiopia. Tafadhali mweke amani. Mweke amani. Niliona hiyo vijana hiyo kikundi hapo nyanyuki wanaruka ruka. Pale nyauru juzi wamefukuza hiyo ndirito mrithi. Wewe ulishindwa kufanya kazi kama gavana. Ukafukuzwa na watu wa Laikipia. Sasa wanakuja kuwaletea maandamano. You had an opportunity to serve the people of Laikipia for five years. You failed. Wakakufukuza. Sinilifukuza hii mtu. Sinili mlifukuza. Sasa analetea nyinyi maandamano hapo mvajie nini? Analetea nyinyi Raila Odinga kuja kuchafua amani la kipya au? How? Bwana Dilito Muridi, how ungrateful can you be to the people of like Kipia? They gave you five years as governor you failed to work. Wewe kusema asante ni kuletea hao maandamano na kuchafua amani katika like Kipia. Why can't you tell the people of Laikipia thank you for giving you five years? Walikupatia nafasi ukashindwa na kazi. Sasa umerudi hapa kuja kuleta vijana ya kudi haramu kuchafua amani katika Laikipia. Laikipia already we have a problem of insecurity ya bandits. Wewe unakuja kuongeza maneno mengine hapa ya kukoroga watu ya Laikipia. I'm going to call a meeting for the leaders of this region and Mount Kenya region to make a decision.
on how to deal with these characters now. This region, akuna mutu atakubali wa kuja katika region hii, kuchavua amani. Yeah. Mukita kuchavua amani, mchavua kwenu. Sisi katika Mount Kenya, we have never known hiyo ujinga ya kuwawa watu na kuharibu mali. It has never happened in this region. Sasa wewe dirito muridi, wewe kioni, wewe bairia, muna ndaganyo na raira, muna kuja kuchavua amani hapa katika mulima Kenya. Watu ya mulima Kenya ni watu ya bidi, ni watu ya biashara, ni wakulima. Hawajui mamba ya kuharibu mali. Watu ya hapa ni watu ya kutafuta mali na kuchunga mali. Kwa ya mawongo. Sasa njini muna tumua na huyu kibaraka wenu kuja kuchafua amani katika area hii. I'm going to call a meeting for leaders. We are going to make a decision as a region so that we agree what will happen. But this region, kama mutu nataka kuharibu pa alingine, not this one. This one, no, it will not happen. So see, we have a challenge as a region, ya pombe. Tuko na challenge ya pombe, na banki. Tuko na challenge ya matuna. Tunajaribu kuokoa watoto wetu kwa mambo ya pombe na banki. Nyinyi watu ya azimio mkija hapa mnatembea na wajakoya yule anasema bangi watu wakuze na waku, na watumie. Rafiki yenu yule mkubwa ni wajakoya. Yule mtu ya kusema watu wafanye nini? Watumie bangi. Shida yetu katika region hii ni bangi. You cannot be for this community. You are against this community. As a region we have a challenge with the drugs with the bank and we are trying to work with our security officers with the leaders with the church to deal with the problem of illicit bruise and drug abuse in this region then the guy you walk around with is the one telling our children that bank is a good thing they should grow it and they should be allowed to use bank and then you say you are leader from this community Lakini yata mimi najua ni kuwa najiuliza How come Watu wazima wako na akiri Na wamesoma Wanaweza faa sufuria kwa kichwa Lakini saide ni wana watabea na wajakoya Nika helewa You know Eh Mchera na mkuduri Eh Eh The company you keep Tells who you are. If you walk around with a fellow who smokes bangi and who is championing for bangi to be sold openly, to be legalized, what is likely to happen to you? And what is your behavior now showing? I want to say we are going to make a decision and quickly because uh, this is unacceptable. And uh, no, 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 it's not possible. Tuwezi kubali. It's not possible. Kwa hivi yo mimi staki kusema kuzidi hapo. Nataka kuomba njini tuendele na kufanya kazi. Na tuendele kuweka amani. Na tufuate sheria za jamuri ya Kenya. Hii nchi ya sheria. Na hakuna sheria imekubalia mutu mungine kuharibu mali ya mkenya mungine ama kumumiza. Na nitiseme ya kuamba ya. Officers wetu. Please, Wana County Commissioner, Wana Police Commander, don't allow, under whatever circumstance, the resurgence of that criminal gang here in Lake Ipia. Don't. Yeah. Now, Mimi, I want to say that any security officer and uh, no, 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 no,